There are many uses for an accordion style hinge. Uh, here we have a folding partition wall that when it folds up, it folds up like an accordion. If we look over at the punch gun, we can see we've got an accordion style hinge going on for that. And a common uh, place that you see it is in uh, the, the gates that block off areas for small kids or, or dogs. Let's go over to the, the wall. We'll do something like this. Actually, we'll set it up with uh, three panels. So we'll just have one, two, three panels, kind of like a trifold brochure. Um, and we'll use this as our, our reference. So let's go ahead and close that down. And I'm going to come over to Create Box. And I'm just going to create, running down the Z, I'm going to create one flat poly. Uh, and actually, let's tap the right key, uh, arrow key, twice so we can get three panels. Okay, So it looks something like this. And let's go to uh, Weight Shade. We're going to add a weight map. And so for the first set of points, these four points that make up this panel, let's call this new panel 01. And we'll give it 100% weight value. So the initial value will be 100%, which is the default settings. Okay, So I'm going to deselect those points and select the four points that make up this middle panel and call this panel 2, create and deselect those two and select the, the four points that make up the last panel and call this panel three. Okay, so we've got our weight maps that we're gonna use and we got our object. Now we just need to save it and send it over. So S for save, we'll call this trifold 001, save, and we'll send it over to layout. Okay, so now I have uh, my panel in layout. I'm going to drop to wireframe. Okay, and let's make it, uh, we'll make it double-sided later. Actually, while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and just make it double-sided? So we'll make it double-sided there. And let's move over to the left view. And we're gonna draw some bones that we're gonna use to drive this uh, to drive this. If we if we didn't want to use bones, we could have separate objects, but I figured we'd go ahead and use bones and then we can keep just one object uh, in the scene. If we had a lot of stuff going on, that's not a bad idea. Okay, so I'm going to come over to the setup tab and I'm going to draw child bones. So I'm just going to draw the first bone outside of uh, the, the trifold and then the next one I'll just go from edge to edge something like that okay and let's go back to the first one and I'm gonna move it down a little bit but because I did that uh, I need to rest it R for rest I'm gonna turn all the bones on and let's go to perspective view and if I take these and rotate them okay we can see that we're gonna be able to bend these except I'm going to limit which bone affects which part of the geometry. For this first bone, I'm going to go to P for properties, and I'm going to set its strength to zero. That's the equivalent of turning the bone off where it says bone active, except I like to use bone strength zero so that if I go and use bone on off here, I don't end up having to remember which ones to deactivate. So if you set them to strength zero, it's the equivalent, but later down the road it might make your life a lot easier. Uh, for the first bone, I'm going to choose panel 1. For the second bone, panel 2. And the third, panel 3. I'm going to test this, and when I rotate this, there we go. It's moving that one, and when I rotate this, it's moving that one, and when I rotate this, it's moving this one. Okay, And of course, by rotating this one, it moves all of the bones. But Okay, so there's our setup. So now what I want to do is um, set it up so that all I have to do is rotate one bone, this bone right here, and it'll animate the entire uh, accordion hinge. So I'm going to close this down, and what we'll do is we'll use an expression. There's a couple ways to go about doing it, but we'll, we'll use an expression for this setup. So I'm going to go to the graph editor right here, and I'm going to make a new expression. So new, and I'm going to call this H plus that's going to be the hinge uh, positive value and for the value let's delete this I'm going to move this over just so we can take a look we're going to rotate it in the, the heading 
So I'm going to select this, this heading, append to expression. So that drops, that's basically saying take the value of this channel, but I want it to go a little faster, so I'm going to times it by two. Okay, so that uh, whatever I apply this expression to will use this channel's information, but twice, twice the value. Okay, and let's create one more. I'm going to call this H minus for negative value. And I'll put in a minus sign there, and then I'll append to expression. Let's do the same thing, times two. Okay, so we've got our two expressions, and now we just need to apply them uh, to to the right bones. Okay, so I'm going to move this down and I'm going to select this bone and for its heading I'm going to use the negative value. So I'm going to apply. It puts a dot there that lets me know that it's it's done that. I'm going to come to this bone, come to heading and apply. For the middle bone I want a positive value so I'll switch to positive, go to heading and apply. So I've got my expressions uh, attached to these bones now so that whenever I go to rotate this, we get the accordion hinge. Let me uh, undo, rotate, so that we can get a good look at this. Uh, and actually we can drop to uh, shaded view. And let's go to the surface editor. And let's just give it a color, just to dress it up a little bit. Okay, And just so that we can see, I'm actually going to go to texture wire. Okay. And whenever I rotate this, it hinges. Okay, so if I had 20 panels, I'd, all I'd have to do is set up the expression on each bone. But it's it's pretty, as you saw, it's a pretty fast setup. Uh, if I wanted to do the uh, punch gun type setup or the um, the gate setup that has dual, well, I would just set the same bone structure up uh, and and have it flip so that I could have. Um, you know, two sets, which gives you the diamond pattern as it as it goes. So there you go, a quick way of setting up an accordion style hinge. Uh, this would be a good setup for a, a, a tricard brochure, um, or if we were really going after the, um, let's open up the image editor and go here. Um, it would be the uh, a good setup for these uh, folding partition walls as well.